Hi guys, um, this is a video request from Aisha Mohammed and she um, had a look at my job calculation video so if you haven't seen that go ahead and watch that um, and she wanted to know how to do drug calculations with decimal points so this is what I'm going to show you in this video so I'm going to flip the camera around and I've got it all written down here um, so first of all I'm going to start off with some um, basic kind of um, calculations with decimals just to kind of get you used to multiplying with decimals so um, this is the way I do it it's not how everyone will be taught and how everyone will understand it but I I find that this is the easiest way. So here we've got 1.7 times 6. So what I would do um, is take out the decimal point because I find it much easier to multiply with no decimal point. So that um, leaves you with 17 times 6, which is much, much easier to multiply. Um, so 7 into 6 goes um, uh, 42 times um, and 6 into 1 is 6 obviously and with 4 um, equals 10 so you end up with 102 but because you've taken the decimal point out you must 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 remember to put the decimal point back in so one decimal out, one decimal point in. So the answer is 10.2. So I hope you're understanding. I'll do another one. Um, this time we've got two decimal points. So it's a little bit different. So here again, I'm going to take both decimal points out to make the calculation a lot easier, which gives you 56 times 11 which again is a much much easier calculation so 1 times 6 is 6 1 times 5 is 5 you add your 0 1 times 6 is 6 1 times 5 is 5 so you add then these together which gives you 6 um, 11 so you carry the 1 um, and 5 with the 1 so 6 so you end up with 616 but because here you've taken two decimals out you need to put two decimals back in so the decimal point goes there so this equals 6.16 um, so it's really easy when you get the hang of it so I'm just gonna um, come over here and do some drug calculations with you um, as I said this is in my other video so if you don't have to do this refer back to that video otherwise I'm just focusing on the decimals so again I take this decimal point out which makes the drug calculation a lot easier so you end up with um, 215 um, times 80 which ends up 0 times 5, 0 times 1, 0 times 2 is all 0 you add your 0 You've got 8 times 5, which is 40. You've got 8 times 1, which is 8, plus your 4, which is 12. Um, so put in the 2, carry the 1. 8 times 2, which is 16, plus the 1 is 17. So you end up with um, 17,200. But remember, you've taken a decimal point out, so you must put your decimal point back in which just knocks off that zero so you end up with um, 1720 you need to um, divide this into 4 so 4 into 17 is 4 remainder 1 4 into 12 is 3 and then you've got your zero left so your answer is um, 430 uh, milligrams per dose okay on to the next one so this one, you've got 88 milligrams per kilogram per day in four doses. Um, same as the other one, the child weighs 25.5 um, kilograms. So again, taking the decimal point out leaves you with 255 times 88. So 8 times 5 is 40. Um, 8 times 5 again is 40, but you've got the 4, so you end up with 44. Um, 8 times 2 is 16, plus the 4 is 20. Um, then you add your 0. I'm going to do it down here just to make it um, clearer for you. Um, 
So you add your zero. Eight times five again, it's forty. Um, eight times five, forty, and then the four, so forty-four. Um, eight times two is sixteen plus your four, it's twenty. And um, so you've got to add these up. Zero and zero is zero. Zero and four is four. Zero and four is four. Zero and two is two. And then you've got your two left over. So you end up with uh, 22,440. But again, you've taken your decimal point out. You have to have to remember to put it back in. So that knocks off that zero. So you end up with 2,244. And you're dividing this by 4. So 4 into 22 goes 5 times, carry 2. Um, 4 into 24 goes 6 times. And 4 into 4 goes once. So you end up with 561 milligrams per dose. So I hope you understand that. Feel free, obviously, to recap. Feel free to ask me questions. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video and it was helpful for you. Um, see you in my next video.